What's up? It's Sydney. Today is Black Friday. I really dressed for the part. Yeah, so these are my cousins. They, of course, wanted to be in the video. This is my sister. You already know her. Baby shark. Mama shark. Do, 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 daddy shark. Do, 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 daddy shark. Do, do. Because I'm at my cousin's house, I wasn't originally going to do one of these videos just because logistically it's a little bit harder since I had to bring my camera. But I mean, I woke up early this morning. I already went shopping. Might as well not let that go to waste, so. Here's what I got. I got two things at Urban Outfitters. Their sale was buy one, get one 50% off, so. That's fun. This is the first item that I got. It's a blue, really soft cable knit, maybe, sweater. I don't know if it's cable knit because I haven't done a beauty video in a while, guys. Okay, I lost my touch, and by that I mean I never had it because I was never very good at these types of videos because I'm not fashionable. It's blue with like some purpley undertones, but I was drawn to it because it feels like a blanket, but it's a nice looking sweater. So I made this goal for myself that I was going to try and start looking nicer when I got back to school, and you know what, I'm probably not going to do that, but I can say that I got one nice sweater, so I mean, I accomplished my goal. And we're back to hoodies, which is kind of what I do best, but you know what, it's kind of like stylish. It's a stylish hoodie, so it's a step up from an ugly hoodie. Whatever, I like it. In case you were unaware, which I'm sure all of you are, because I don't think I ever have talked about it, but I'm a sucker for Tommy Hilfiger, and this is indeed Tommy. It has a cinched bottom with these tie strings, which are tied in a knot because, you know, I had some trouble in the fitting room and, I don't know, I'm incompetent. But then, our hoodie is blue, which matches the sleeve lettering, which says Tommy Hilfiger. I waited in a fitting room line to try this on which is saying a lot for me because I'm severely impatient. But I'm really glad I did because I had an extra small and this one, which is the medium, and I thought I was going to like the extra small better, and they both fit me, but the extra small was a little bit cropped, which I think is the look that it's trying to go for, but I wasn't feeling that look, and I decided to invent my own look, which is called lazy and comfortable. Maybe it was like the 12 rolls I ate yesterday, but I decided, you know what, I kind of want it oversized, so I got it in the medium. Story time over. Stuffed in that urban bag were these two bags from Free People. One of them is my mom's, but I don't know which one. So we're gonna go on this adventure together. The thing is they wrap it up so you don't know what's inside. This one's mine. If you're looking for deals, I wouldn't say that Free People is really the place to go, but the one shirt that I got actually was on sale, so. Here's what we're working with. It's, you know, your classic ribbed long sleeve. I know fashion. The main feature of this shirt is this little V and it has wire in it so it's stiff and doesn't fold, do you know? But I don't know, it just has me feeling some type of way. It has kind of these little cinches in the shoulders too, so they're a little more stretchy so I think you can wear it more off the shoulder or like a normal shirt so you know, it's versatile. I think it'll be good for those rare occasions where I decide to look nice, maybe on Christmas because it's green. Catch me probably wearing this on Christmas now that I say that. I feel like everyone and their mother goes to Bath and Body Works on Black Friday and buys 42 candles, 16 fragrance mists, and like 12 of those little pocket back hand sanitizers just because it's a good deal. And you know what? I respect it. Bath and Body Works has the same sale every year. Buy three, get three free, everything in the store mix and match. And it draws me in because I'm a sucker and a product of capitalism. This is a repulsively long receipt, but I would like to say that we got all of the following for less than $50 and it normally would have been $105. First up, we got six of these little wallflower refills, three for my dorm and three for the house. Cinnamon caramel swirl, holiday, vanilla bean noel, twisted peppermint, a thousand wishes, and cinnamon spice vanilla. If I recall correctly, I think this one was my favorite, but as soon as you enter Bath and Body Works, everyone's basically just shoving things up their nose, so I don't really remember. So that was the first set of buy three, get three free, and then we did a set of just kind of random stuff, so first random thing is this actual wallflower, which is what 
these little doohickeys going. I would say that this was the biggest Black Friday necessity because my dorm smells, how you say, disgusting. Not to throw my roommates under the bus or anything, but they like to cook in the dorms, which isn't allowed, but that's besides the point. And sometimes it leaves some unpleasant smells. So my mom came to pick me up from break and she was appalled at the aroma of the room. But we're problem solving. Now I have this and maybe my mom won't kill me the next time she comes to visit. Next up we have two of these little mini hand creams and they're both in the scent Vanilla Buttercup. I needed new hand lotion for my backpack and so I told this idea to my brother and he was like, yo, same because our hands get dry in the winter because it really be like that sometimes. And then he copied me and got the exact same scent. Cheers. My sister has the most severe case of FOMO ever. So she was like, I don't wanna go Black Friday shopping, but can you guys get me like a little surprise because I feel left out. So we got her this little monster eating hand sanitizer thing. I don't know what it is, but I love it. She didn't even have to wake up early or come on the adventure and she still got this thing and I'm a little bit jealous. Maybe I'll never give it to her. No, I will, okay. I guess because it's pregnant with the little hand sanitizer, it only counts as one. We also got her this hand sanitizer because she likes unicorns and that was literally the only explanation. The last item of the buy three, get three free is this loofah and I feel like just everyone needs a loofah and someone in my family clearly needed a loofah. Also because my mom is a coupon queen, we got this Vanilla Bean Noel body lotion for really cheap or something. I don't really know, I wasn't paying attention, but she was like, I'm gonna use my coupon, and I was like, you do that. And we got this stress relief body wash and foam bath because we had another coupon that said that you could get a free gift for up to $13.50, and this was $13.50, so we got it for free. Cool. I got one thing from Madewell, and it ended up being kind of a steal because I think they were doing 25% off their entire store, but then they also had these little chocolates that they were handing out at the entryway, and if you got one that had a golden ticket in it, you got $20 off your purchase. I didn't. But my mom did, and she let me use it, so. This is the top I got. The camera's not really doing it justice. It makes it look like something you would wear to your fifth grade orchestra concert. It's better than that, I swear. It's like open, and then this clasps right here, and then it creates a little V, you know? So it's a little, a little frisky. I need like seven hands to properly demonstrate this, but it has these little ties at the bottom, and you tie it together, and it looks really freaking cute, and then there's a little peplum bottom, and ruffles kind of like everywhere, and it's a really nice sheer shirt for events. Use your imagination and just conjure up the most dope shirt ever and that's what this shirt looks like, okay? Last store. Vans. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself because I feel like I contained myself this year. In previous years, I would see something that I even remotely liked and if it was the slightest bit on sale, I was like, I'm buying it. And this year, I was like, let's take a step back. I'm really growing up. Not really. I'm giving myself a lot of credit for something stupid. I'm going to show you the socks I got first so I can save the more exciting item for last, but here are the socks I got. They're no-shows, which are the only socks that I wear, but... At this point, my black slip-on Vans are probably the only shoes that I wear, and they're kind of trashed. So originally, I was going to get another pair of slip-ons, but then I saw these shoes, and I decided that I want these ones instead. These are the classic style, and apparently I'm a risk taker because these are stark white. On my honor, I will try to keep these sneakers as white as possible for as long as possible. I think I just plagiarized the Girl Scout promise, but... This is important business. White goes with everything. Also, white just makes you look tan. I mean, granted, these are gonna be on my feet, so my ankles will just look tan, but that's still pretty fun. That's gonna be it. I'll probably end up wearing a lot of this stuff on my Instagram, so if you're interested in seeing that and maybe seeing how that Madewell shirt works out, you can follow me right here. You don't have to though, because I can understand how you wouldn't be interested in that. I know that in comparison to a lot of other people's Black Friday hauls, this was probably really tame and kind of small, maybe even boring, 
but I just didn't feel like I had to inflate the video for you guys. This is genuinely what I got on Black Friday, and I'm really happy with all of my items. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a great one. If not, I don't know where I was going with that. Have a great day.